Good morning. This is Doc with Dr. Patrick Live and Smoking Pirates. And guess what? Today is day two of the year 2021. And as we all know, 2020 didn't exactly go as we would have hoped. It started out with a little bit of optimism, but then it tanked rapidly with the virus and then the elections and protests and you name it. The year just kind of spun out of control. Many people lost their job. A lot of people gained anxiety. Depression permeated our culture. And in the midst of all of it, we're expected you know, to be happy, to live, to have optimism, to be content. So how do we do that, right? When we go into a new year, a lot of people stop, they pause, they write down, or they come up with New Year's resolutions. What are we gonna do differently this year? What am I gonna emphasize? What's the theme of this year? What am I gonna do, right? And there's all kinds of great resolutions that people come up with. Unfortunately, the majority of them sort of fall by the wayside because anything that's a quick fix like that typically doesn't work. Right? We have to kind of have this thing called discipline and uh, who likes discipline? So I thought we could talk for a minute, like how are we going to make 2021 a better year? The first thing we have to realize is, look, we have to find good, healthy ways to burn off stress so that we don't dip into something unhealthy. You have to remember that if you focus on the negative, right, you focus on the news, you focus on all the bad stuff happening, even this transition of the election, you're going to become stressed and overwhelmed. So you have to stop focusing on that. It's going to serve you no value. It's going to do nothing good. What you have to do is focus on the good. And when you do have that negative energy, find healthy ways to burn it off. So a lot of people will find different ways. So some healthy ways to burn off that negative energy, number one, meditate, find a way. There's all kinds of apps. There's a singing bowl or the Tibetan prayer bowl. Find a way to slow down and clear your mind. That's a first thing. Second thing, exercise. Like I try to exercise four to five times a week, do weights four times, try to run. Right now it's back down to like two miles, but I try to get up to five from time to time. Just I just need to go, I need to burn off that stress and fill myself with those positive endorphins. It really makes a difference. So even if you just go for a nice calm walk, try to walk the pace that you have a conversation. So each day you can go a little bit faster and a little bit faster, right? Get that heart rate going eventually, right? It's a good thing to do. So exercise is a great thing. Try to go to bed early, get up early. If you can do that, that's a good thing. Sleep makes such a difference, right? A lot of people use music. Some people will put on classical music, you know, and close their eyes and just relax. And that just kind of burns off their stress. But if you're like me and you get stressed, I need to listen to like hard metal music, right? And loud as I can do it. Cause it sort of like works up my energy and just kind of burns it out and exhausts me. Ugh, and I feel so much better. So if that works for you, do that. But whatever you do, try to find something that will help you navigate through each day. Like when I get up, my goal is to grab a cup of coffee, grab my notebook, journal and meditate, and then try to exercise. That's what I really wanna to do to start each day. And I try to find the rhythm. If I can do that, my body gets into this idea that no matter what the stress is of the day, I sort of dump it in the day, time, morning, and then I kind of go through the day in a more relaxed state. That's how it works, right? Try to find a rhythm. Try to find something that you will do. Add one thing today and then tomorrow add another thing. You know, eventually it piles up and you become more optimistic. Tend, you know, at the end of the day even, write down things that you're grateful for. If you find yourself in a particularly pissed off or rotten mood, before you go to bed, get out a piece of paper and say, Look, what are three things in the spite of everything that's happened? that are good. What are some good things that have happened today? If you can't find out anything, well, then one of them is like, I breathed, like I had a breath. It was great. Find something positive to dwell on. If you focus on the negative, you will become more and more negative. So look, as we embrace 2021, as we go into this year, let's become the best we can. That's the goal for 2021. And stay tuned because eventually our podcast is going to kick in. And it's going to be called Smoking Pirates. So we'll see how. So stay tuned. If you think this helps somebody, pass it on, like it, do what you need to do. But more than anything, have a great day and a great year. Doc out.